bathroom. Well, you know, uh, of course, now, you know, uh, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about how the, the, uh, the different uh, field day locations uh, can score a few extra points, some things they may, you know, if they're... If I would say the fastest way is to start using CW. Uh, you can get double the points for making contacts on CW. Uh, the go to station, having go to station is always a good thing. Uh, tell you what, hold, if, hold on, Dan. Dan Henderson is standing right here, and Ted's question is, how can, what are things that different stations can do that would help them earn extra points? Pretty good. And, uh... How, how is your how is your field day operation going so far? Uh, it's frenetic and it's lots of stations operating. I've heard lots of activity. At this stage of the game, you're, uh, a lot of your bonus points are already need to have been in the bag. It would be you know, the setup in the public place and things like that. Once you actually start operating, your bonus points are going to come from NTS messages, uh, from your message to your section manager. Don't forget uh, those two possible bonus points. Six, oh, 600 UTC until about, I think it was 1,400 UTC. There were uh, a couple of good passes that would be coming as well. So, you know, that's something that uh, and literally I've been in a field day group where we've never thought about doing it, and we ended up at the station not doing much, and we actually, at the last minute, put that together once field day has already started. So that's always a possibility as well. And, uh, job with that this year. It did. Let me ask you a question. We've already worked your 10 meter uh, station and your 15 meter station early. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're working anything else, but are you guys set up on, on virtually every band or how? 